We declare that you are faithful. We declare that you are worthy. Thank you for this prayer camp out. Thank you for this prayer gathering on this platform. Thank you, most high God, for how you have kept us in the past one week. Thank you for answers to our prayers in the past. Thank you for visiting us according to how you reached out to us last week. You delivered us from the power of famine, from the power of lack, from the power of depression. Lord, we thank you for the freedom and the liberty that we have in you as our Father. We say, be thou exalted, O God, be thou lifted up. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. O oh, let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. Thank you, Most High God, for this time out to call upon you and to pray. Lord, we thank you. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Your word tells us that we should call upon you in the days of trouble and you will answer us. You will show us great and mighty things. Most high God, as we call upon you in this moment, this evening, this hour, Lord Jesus, we pray that you will open our eyes of understanding. Lord, we pray you will reveal great and mighty things to us in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, as we look up to you today, please let our faces be lightened and let shame be taken far from us and all our loved ones in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. We will be calling on the God of restoration today. Our prayer focus will be on restoration from the restoration of our spirit to the restoration of our soul and then by the effect of these two restorations there will be restoration in all other areas of our lives financially maritally ministerially in our career in our pursuits in life god of restoration will reach out to us in his mercy and power in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we are reading from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, to start us off in our prayers for restoration. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. The Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. So God is making a commitment to visit us, even this evening as we call upon him. He said, if my people who are called by my name will say, Lord, thank you because I am called by your name. You can put your name there. Thank you, Lord, because I, Desoya. Thank you, Lord, because I, James Mulero, I am called by your name with my entire family. Thank you, Lord, for calling me by your name. You are my maker. You are my creator. You are the one who designed and fashioned my destiny. You are the one who designed and created my path to fulfilling that destiny. Thank you, Lord, because I am called by your name. Lord, I am graven in the palm of your hands. Thank you, Lord, because I am continually before you. Thank you, Lord, because your eyes is continually shining upon me and my family. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I appreciate you. And you will let's ask the Lord that as we come before him in humility, he will reach out to us in mercy. As we come before him today in humility, he says, if my people will humble themselves, Lord, we are in our own selves not sufficient. That is why we have come to you this very day. And we are asking, oh God, that your mercy will reach out to us afresh and anew. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says, let us therefore come boldly 
to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace for help in time of need father we come boldly in humility before you this day lord that we may obtain grace and find mercy for help in time of need mercy that will prevail over judgment mercy that will prevail over affliction mercy that will prevail over the influence of the powers of darkness lord we receive mercy afresh tonight we receive mercy afresh today let your mercy that prevails over judgment over condemnation lord let that mercy reach out to us the bible tells us in psalm chapter 136 it says oh give thanks to the lord for he is good and for his mercy endureth forever lord let the endurance of your mercy reach out to us in all areas of our lives we come boldly this day we come boldly this moment to receive mercy and find grace for help in our time of need the grace that we need that our lives may find expression upon the face of the earth lord let that grace be extended to us the grace that releases the resources of christ the grace that releases the abundance of heaven. Let that grace be extended to us and all our loved ones in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive mercy. We receive grace for, your, for our help in time of need in the name of Jesus. Thank you, most high God. We exalt your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Romans chapter 6, verse 1. It says, what then? can we continue in sin for grace to abound it says god forbid that means it is possible for a man to be delivered from sin to stop sinning and then because of the issues of life deceitfulness of riches because of the temptations of life and all other vices that seem to overpower a man the man can begin to draw back into sin it is called sin of omission or commission. They are called little, little foxes that destroy the vine. They are things like we say they don't matter. There are things that we say God understands. And these things are destroying our spiritual fabric. They are, they, are con they are contending with our spiritual connection with God for God to do what he wants to do in our lives. That is why we will come before God at this moment and we will ask that he will purge us. Father, purge me of every act of disobedience. Somebody said sin, S-I-N, is simply simple instructions neglected. The laws and the word of God, they are not grievous. God expects us by his grace to comply and to obey them. However, because of the carnal nature that we still carry, at times it becomes difficult for us to obey God, to submit to his will, to do his will, to hear his voice. Let us ask that God will purge us of every form of disobedience. God will purge us of every form of unfaithfulness in any way that we have contravened his expectations for us let's pray that his mercy will prevail for us he will be merciful unto us father we ask that you will purge us spirit soul and body anything within us anything hibernating within us that is contending with your place that is contending with your grace that is contending with your glory upon our lives lord by your mercy separate them from us and separate us from them in the name of jesus lord purge us of every form of disobedience every form of unfaithfulness every little foxes destroying our vine destroying our potentials lord we ask that you will separate us from them and separate them from us purge us oh god help us oh god and cause us to conform to your will let us ask that the precious blood of jesus will purge us spirit soul and body 
anything within us that is an opposition to the will, opposition to the purpose, opposition to the plans of God for our lives, for our families and our loved ones, that the Lord Almighty, through the precious blood of his Son, will purge us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We receive cleansing in our spirit, man. We receive purging in our soul in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. The second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 that we read, it says, And if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, even as we are doing this moment, he says, and turn from their wicked ways as we have called upon God to help us to be turned out of the path of disobedience and unfaithfulness. He says, then I will hear from heaven. This moment God will hear us. His ears will be attentive to our prayers in the name of Jesus. He says, and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. That means until we realize that God has heard us from heaven, we will be bound by the spirit of bitterness, by the spirit of condemnation, by the spirit of guilt. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 1, Therefore there is now no condemnation to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. He says, for the law of life in Christ Jesus has made me, has made you free from the law of sin and death. The Lord will need to open our eyes of understanding to realize all that he has done for us. The precious blood that he has shed for us. The promises that he has made available to us. So we are going to ask in the name of Jesus that Father open my eyes of understanding. Open my spiritual ears. Open my spiritual eyes in the name of Jesus and set me free from every guilt every condemnation of errors of the past every guilt and condemnation of pains of the past of wounds and hurts of the past lord set me free from them in the name of jesus lord everything that i have wrongfully or in error done in the past that seem to be haunting my future that seem to be haunting my present Lord Jesus I ask that you will set me free from them there is therefore now no condemnation for me no condemnation to me no condemnation to my spouse no condemnation to my partner no condemnation to my family in the name of Jesus the Bible says the devil is the accuser of brethren the devil is an accuser he wants to accuse us of what we did in error in the past but by the speaking blood of Jesus who speaketh mercy that blood has to silence every voice speaking condemnation speaking judgment against our lives and our families in the name of Jesus let's say father every voice of guiltiness every voice of condemnation speaking against me because of my past I silence them by the blood of Jesus. I silence them by the blood of Jesus. I silence them by the blood of Jesus. Every hurt of the past, every pain of the past, every error of the past that is slowing me down in the present, that is weakening my ability, that is delaying my, my progress, that is retarding my advancement, every error of the past, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus and by the precious blood of Jesus, let them be wiped off. Let them be wiped off in the name of Jesus. For the Bible tells me, he that the Son set free shall be free indeed, shall be free indeed. There is therefore now no condemnation. Lord, from this moment onward, I walk in liberty. I walk in dominion. I walk in authority. In the mighty name of Jesus, every accuser of brethren, anyone, any human agent or spiritual forces that are speaking condemnation and judgment into my life, using my past to judge my present and to decide my future, I say no more to you. No more to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
Lord, in any way that I have been written down or written off. Lord, any verdict that had been passed contrary to your interest in my life, contrary to your purpose for my life, either in my family house, in my family lineage, in my generation, Lord, by the precious blood of Jesus, let there be a reversal tonight. For the ones that cannot be reversed, let them be counseled by the blood of Jesus. Let them be nullified by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sharapatu se telebro repoko son Lebro ko sheke yebo, e pato rekete bo, shanda lebro, ibra lebro sonto yege debo. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. The Bible says God is a spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hebrews eleven six says that by faith, without faith, rather, it is impossible to please him. That he that will come to God must believe that God is. God exists. God is real. God is active. God is involved. He must believe that God is and then that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. As you connect to this camp out prayer meeting, God will locate you where you are. Your life will be a testimony to the reality of God. What others have been struggling to accomplish and to achieve because you are connected to the living God and your eyes are lifted up to him. God will make them easy for you to achieve in the name of Jesus. The same way Esau testified and said, the Lord God of your fathers brought the venison to me, brought the game to me, and I was able to bring it when I brought it as he spoke to Isaac. That same way, the Almighty God will bring to you what others are running after. God will draw into your home, into your life and family, what others are queuing to receive. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the same God that lifts men from the backside of the desert and bring them to the front line, the same God that raises people from the dung hill and set them among princes in the name that is above every other name, that same God will locate you and your family in this season. Irako when people are saying there is a casting down, when families are counting their losses, you will be saying there is a lifting up, you will be saying there is increase on every side, because you are connected to the God who controls times and season, the one who has all power to do all things, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, it says the things that have been freely given to us can only be received by the Spirit. The things that we will not labor to enjoy in life can only be received by the Spirit. It says they are foolishness to the carnal mind. How can you... The world believes that you have to work and work and work and labor and labor to receive ends meet, to receive your reward. But in this kingdom, the Bible says we should labor to enter into rest. My beloved, we are laboring in the place of prayer here. We are laboring to command divine resources and to command earthly support for us and our family. In that name and above every other name, please you will pray for yourself and say, Oh Lord my God, let me be spiritually alive. Wake me up spiritually. Father, wake me up spiritually to receive all that you have prepared for me and my family this year. In the name of Jesus, Lord, wake me up spiritually. Restore my spirit, man. Restore my soul. David said in Psalm chapter 23, verse 1, The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Every need is met in advance. Every help is released in advance. David said, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul. Pray that the almighty God will awaken your spiritual reality, your spiritual consciousness and it will restore your soul. You will be at rest. You will be at peace in the midst of the agitations and the obstructions and the evil and the 
pandemic, whatever it is that people are suffering out there, because you are a child of God, you are a daughter and the son of the Most High, your family must be exempted from it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, restore my spirit, man. Restore my soul. Lord, let me be awakened to what you are doing in my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We exalt your name. We praise you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Still praying concerning the restoration that God is bringing our way in this season, particularly as the year is running to an end. For the Bible says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. For you and for your family and for your loved ones. This last quarter of 2020, everything that had been missing in your life, delayed in your life, denied of you in the past three quarters. In this last quarter, God will speedily bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. God will draw them into your life. God will release them into your hands in the name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2, verse 25 to 26. Here is the word of the Lord for us. It says, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar, and the palmerworm, my great army, which I sent among you. All these creatures that were mentioned here, they are representations of forces human forces institutional forces governmental forces being made manifest through policies and whatever rules and regulations that prevail in the land but for you and for me there shall be an exemption in the name of jesus that in this year 2020 there will be restoration for us in the mighty name of jesus verse 26 now says and ye shall eat in plenty can I hear somebody say amen? And be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that I dealt wondrously with you. Please lift your voice loud and clear. Say, my Father, my God, in the remaining days of this year, everything I have lost in this year, to the lockdown, to the shutdown, everything that I have lost. Lord, I position myself spiritually today to receive them, to receive them, to receive them. Is it contract? Is it networks? Is it business ideas or business ventures? Is it money? Whatever it is that is precious to you that you have lost in the past three quarters of the year, that in this last quarter, the Almighty God will command them into your life. In the name of Jesus, everything that I have lost to caterpillars, to cankerworms and to palmerworms, either in individuals or in the, in the institutions where I work, or in the environment that I find myself. Everything I have lost. Lord, I reclaim them. I reclaim them. I reclaim them. I reclaim them. In the mighty name of Jesus, the same God that caused the axe head to swim by a supernatural hand through prophet Elijah, that same God will cause to come alive, will come to manifest, will cause to come forth for you. Everything that you have lost in this year, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let there be restoration and declare and say, Lord, I will eat in plenty before what I have in my hand finishes, before my account goes into red, supernaturally there shall be a refilling in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, before what I am enjoying now becomes exhausted, Lord, supernaturally you will replace them. You will replenish them. Lord, you will restore to me everything I have lost, everything that is due to me in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I will praise you. I will exalt you. I will glorify you with my life and with my testimonies because you will make me a wonder among men in my environment. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And finally, we'll be praying for Psalm chapter 126. The Bible says, And when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, I prophesy and I declare a turnaround for every one of us in the name of Jesus.
Every yoke of limitation, every yoke of retardation, anything that the enemy had successfully done to keep us on the same spot, things we are longing to receive, positions we are longing to attain unto, achievements we have been struggling to come into. I see a turnaround today in the name of Jesus. He says, we were like them that dream. It will be like a dream to you because it will not be by power, it will not be by might, but by the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. And then verse 2 says, then was our mouth filled with laughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sarah said, The Lord has made me to laugh. And all those who that hear and all those who that see will laugh with me. I prophesy and affirm in the name of the Lord Jesus, by the Spirit of the living God, He will fill your mouth with laughter. Every song of shame sang in the past. Every song of loss sang in the past. Every song of, of delay, of setback that you have sung in the past, you will no more sing them in the name of Jesus. It will put a new song in your mouth. The enemies will come and rejoice with you. Those who refuse to rejoice with you, they will bow before you in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, they among the hidden said, the Lord had done great things for them. Let us go ahead and give thanks to God for the great things that we believe that he has done for us. Even in the remaining days of this year, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for answers to our prayers today. Thank you for restoration of our spirit. Thank you, Lord, for restoration of our soul. And thank you for restoration of everything we have lost in the past three quarters of the year. We exalt your holy name. We thank you, most high God. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Lord, we agree as one. We thank you because if there is a man to pray, we are confident there is the God who will answer. Lord, as we have cried and called upon you, let testimonies become our realities in the name of Jesus.